What's going on? How's everyone today? I'm going to get set up. We're going to go over some basic processes for getting um, a couple of designs onto your tumblers. I'm going to be using glass rhinestones, Kira Kira glass rhinestones. And, um, oh, I got to quit put my little, um, my comment, but, um, or maybe I, why can't I comment yet? I was going to post, um, I don't need to put any links. I'll just put the, um, the verbiage and, uh, I'm going to try something else as well because let me log into my other device. So I'm going to get two cameras going for you guys. So let me stop making you dizzy. I'm going to put this right here. And my sound might go off for a moment while you guys are coming in. Let me know where you're where you're from. Let me know if you're into gluing yet. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Of course, I always get a crackly throat right before I start. Isn't that the truth? Okay. Uh, let me turn on. Or let me just see. Okay. So here's my new, well, not new, I've done this for a long time, but, um, hi, Corey. Hi, Demetra. Good to see you guys. Awesome. Now, see, I don't know why I can't comment. Anyway, um, all the information for everything I'm going to be using is actually in the description of the link, um, or of the post. And hang on one second. Let me try something. I'm going to send a request. I'm going to do this. It worked last Join and hello. Hey, everybody. Okay, now. Sorry. The sound should be better now. I put my microphone in that one. And we're going to wait a moment for that. Let me turn my Wi-Fi off on this other device. And off because it could be making it blurry. Awesome. Hi, Shayla. Hi, Kim. Good to see you guys. So I've got everything. Awesome, Corey. Thank you. Y'all, we worked on this for a couple of hours last night. <laughs> um, and I'm going to turn on or turn off my Wi Fi on my phone. And then I'm going to be able to log in so I can see from looking down. Um, comments and questions and stuff like that. So, uno momento, let me see. Okay, oh, shh, shh, shh. turn off, okay, sorry, awesome. Hi, Cam, how are you, good to see you. So it looks like my, uh, it's quite blurry now, but not on that one. So if it stays blurry, then um, I'm gonna come back and go back in. Yeah, awesome. Oh, very good, Corey. Awesome. I love it. I love it. That is so cool. Um, okay. So I'm going to show, I'm going to try to be as, as fast but thorough as possible for this little, pro pardon me, this project. And, okay, good. It's clear. Awesome. Okay. Um, it's clear enough on my other device. I've got, so I'm filming with two devices, this one and this one, and I'm watching from another one that's at my eye level. Hey, Pilar. Good to see you. Um, and so I'm going to real quickly go over some things. Um, this is admin approved. I have a coupon code for you guys. It's Tumblr Hacks 101. And my site is crystalninja.com. Don't need to put any links. It's not allowed in this group, so please don't put any links. Um, and let's see, I'm going to show you how, how to glue. Basic things of gluing. This tool is going to help you pick up your stones. It's called the Crystal Katana Tool. Synthetic wax on this end, a push side on this end. I am the inventor and the manufacturer of this tool. I have four patents on this tool, um, and it is hands down the best one. It's going to help you do your um, work at a professional level. There's plenty of other. Um, you can use your eyeliner. You can use your candlestick from your kitchen drawer. Um, dental wax. There's plenty of hacks you can do. That's great. Um, but this is going to help you really apply your stones with precise precision and last you a lot longer. You won't have to buy tons of tools. One tool is all it takes. I'm going to be using um, Fusion Tac glue. We have it on the site. It is as a, uh, it's coming in in the next week or so. We're kind of sold out. But I'm going to show you how to use syringes today. That's sometimes I only show 
how to put it in the precision bottle, but some people don't have that. So I'm going to show how to use syringes today because also the syringes are um, buy one, get one free on our site, crystalninja.com. So we're going to do syringes. We're going to do glue, pickup tool, and the stones. I'm going to use Kira Kira, um, and these are in the pre-sale section. These are the uh, Mocha light purple, and it kind of does almost almost match my hair, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I'm going to outline this little flower with um, green flame because it's freaking amazing. So uh, there's plenty of ways that you can put your designs on things. You can cut your vinyl. You can, um, and, and there's definitely a process to do all of that. Um, but for today, I'm going to show you how to do it by hand because sometimes our machines don't work and you just have to do it by hand. And it's okay. So here's just a basic process of how um, you can do this. This was done uh, definitely with a decal. Um, I took a class over in Japan, and I was hoping that they were going to teach more of hand, uh, by hand type stuff, and it was it was all decals. But that's okay. Because um, that's a great way to do it. Like work, you know, don't work harder, work smarter. So, um, but, you know, there's things that can happen with decals if they're not the right layers and the right laminates and all that stuff. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys just the basic way to do it without using any kind of decals um, and stuff like that. So it can kind of be fun. It's great for even kids to do this. Um, everything I have is non-toxic. My glues are non-toxic. And um, they are, uh, you can wash these. Oh, hi, Ashley. Nice to meet you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, and so... I'll start there, but first I'm going to tape off my area because I'm just going to do um, kind of what we've just done years ago. It's just a good method to have in your back pocket. Just get you some uh, little painter's tape. And I'm just going to do a small little flower today because I have to kind of do this demonstration in lots of other groups as well. Um, and and this one, if, if the recording saves, like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, um, I usually will... It, can also put this on YouTube as well, and the Tumblr Tumblr Hacks 101 group uh, will get credit and everything. So it's kind of like cross promotion, and so that's mm, maybe bigger. Let's see, and hopefully I can do this within the hour. So hopefully that's the goal, because I don't like to use my devices for longer than an hour. Awesome, Aisha, just. I just did my first cup and used the Fusion Tech and Precision Bottle. It was so easy. Yes, that is the easiest, best way. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And so, just, just painter's tape, blue painter's tape. And I'm just going to use a Sharpie to do my um, my little, kind of my little sketch. And this is, you can, of course, trace it, print it, however you want to get your design on your um, item. That's great. Um, this is just another process. There's you know, 20 ways to skin a cat. So, you know, 20 ways to draw a flower. Um, and so I'm going to be using this light pink edged with this dark green. So um, let's do a little center line. I'm going to do five petals, it's kind of our logo. And I'm just going to kind of get it on here. Not too big, not too small. <clears throat> Pardon me. And with everything, practice makes perfect. And you can totally draw this right onto uh, your tumbler, but I just wanted to show, because um, I'm going to have to sand this as well. I like to always sand our items, and it's good to um, uh, do that. Oh, good, Trisha. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Just something a little bit different, you know. All right, so I have a decent little flower here, and um, what I'm going to do is actually kind of tighten up my lines and kind of go a little bit to the outside because I'm going to outline it with this green flame. So I want to give it a nice kind of like a, an offset, and I'm, I'm going to actually cut this offset, this nice uh, sharp line. How's the sound? Is sound is good? I had a sound problem last night. And a lot of times, using Sharpies, um, that's going to give you the actual thickness of a small um, SS5, 6, a 7, the thickness of these lines. 
So a lot of times people say, how can I get this to fit? My stones are too big. Uh, if you just draw things out with a Sharpie, that thickness is probably the thickness of a size SS5. So if you want to draw your lines thicker, then that's kind of what is necessary uh, to make these designs look their best. Is to stay within your lines. All right, so we have offset, we have the inside, that was just for testing, and now I'm gonna get my knife. And we're gonna cut, 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 cut. Um, oh, awesome, Pilar, thank you. Lots of practice, lots of practice. Um, and again, with your knife, um, and I've done this for many, many years. So my knife skills might be a little bit different. Um, I've actually done this process on very fancy cars very fancy cars and i know how deep to cut i'm only cutting into the clear coat i'm not cutting into the paint or the the metal of the car or the plastic car so um it's a little practice it goes a long way and this i'm uh cutting the tape because we're going to sand and i don't want to get any scratch marks on the outside because i may not decide to fill the whole thing in so this is how you can control your sanding without getting too crazy and having to sand the whole thing because sanding is a huge process that helps and it's going to help your um, your paint, which today the paint is going to be only Sharpie markers. So it's not really paint. It's more like a wash. Oh, thank you, Carla. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's been a long journey with this hair. And so Sharpies are more like a stain, not a paint. So you don't have to technically seal them. The glue is going to seal them. Um, oh, is Connie here? Connie, your package is getting delivered today. I'm going to repackage it and send it to you for tomorrow. Or it'll probably arrive to you Thursday. If it's the same, Connie. I didn't need to assume. Okay, and so I'm just going to cut. Cut, 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 cut. Here we go. And... Get your finger out of the way. Awesome. All right, one more to go. So I probably should add some more tape, but um, I like to live dangerously. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel up my um, my shapes and you're gonna see kind of a rough, um, be nice if I had my better glasses on. So I'm going to pull out the inside, and I'm also trying to go at a decent, fast pace so that um, we're not going to be here for, you know, too long. Awesome. And it does help if you have a new blade. And then, of course, I, brought, I bought a whole other, you know, 100 pack, and uh, because I'm working for my temporary at-home office, um, my stuff is kind of in shambles, but soon it will be all put in its proper places because um, the temporary at-home office is going to be not temporary. So, you know, looks like we're stuck here for a while. And I say stuck, but I love, I love this house. And I love my space in this house. So, have y'all seen that little video? A little kid running around. I hate this house. I hate this house. I'm the opposite. I love this house. I don't have to leave. I have left now five times this whole four months. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. Here we go. This off here. Now, yes, I'm going to have to redraw my flower, but I just want to show you guys how I even got that. So this is from start to finish. Sometimes it's confusing when you see a project and it's like, midway so this way you can totally um, hit the replay button and skip through and see everything that i did there okay so we've got this yes awesome trisha i'm glad that this is helping yes just use some painter's tape it's not the best um you can use you can use scotch tape use what you guys have you know oh, come on let me put a little bit more on this edge i don't want to over sand up here now as far as sanding goes um you just want to rub it up you want it to be not shiny anymore that's going to help your paint layers to stick now i am using sharpie it's not paint it's a stain but sanding it is still going to help it still going to help 
Okay, so here's my my flower now. It looks more like a starfish, but that's totally fine. And I'm going to sand it. You can use lots of things to sand with. You can use sandpaper. You can use little nail files. These to me are quite comfortable. They're foamy. Uh, they don't hurt my hand as much. Um, you can use little crystal ninja nail files. Isn't that fun? But for the detail work, and these are 100 to one, uh, 180 on these type of nail files. Most most emery boards have that um, measurement. Um, you can get softer ones. This one's um, probably a 200 or so. Nice and soft. And I'm just roughing up the surface. See how it's shiny and not shiny? You want to see it um, nice and, and foggy. But and always kind of go up against your tape as close as you can, but not lifting the tape. So I'm coming towards the center to protect my points, towards the center to protect the points. And I would normally do this off my desk. You don't want to get all this dust onto your work surface. Um, so, but for, for the camera, I'm just going to do it like this. And then, that makes a kind of a gross little noise. Don't like that. And so I'm going into the middle so that I don't upset the tape kind of from pulling out. You want to go against or uh, with the tape, I guess. And if you want to get even more detail in your sanding, so you see how it's now nice, nice, awesome. Um, I can't even talk. Nice and etched or foggy looking compared to down here. It's nice and shiny, and then that's not so shiny. Awesome. Um, so then, oh, and also, yes, thank you, Pilar. Um, the double wall tumblers are 20 ounces, and they are, they were buy one, get one free all weekend, but um, that sale is over, but net the price has been reduced tremendously. Um, and so if you want to get even more uh, detailed in your um, sanding when you have a lot. Sorry, it was that. Sorry, that noise. I'm sorry. Um, you can get an e-file, a Dremel, anything like that. And you can really get details. This um, is a real e-file, an electric nail file. And um, you can get very inexpensive ones. This one is not inexpensive. This is a super expensive one. But um, so you can get nice and sharp angles with these types of tools, and that's plenty. I just want to show you guys that you can use lots of tools to sand your stuff. Awesome, thank you, yeah, for sure. Oh, sorry, that noise, yeah, sorry. So, um, and this uh, is uh, an ATA um, e-file. They're quite expensive, but this is my baby, so um, I bought that for myself, I think, last year for Christmas, so, um, and use it nearly every day. And it's also good for my nails because I do my own nails too, so there's that. All right, so now you've sanded. I want you to clean it. We're gonna take the tape off. We're done with the tape. The tape was just to protect the outside because I only want to show uh, the inside here, the flower. And look what you guys can see now. You can see this. Uh, Danielle, yes, everything um, that I'm showing you, I'm an authorized or approved um, vendor on the site. Our website is Crystal Ninja, and um, we don't don't put any links in the in the comments. But um, yes, you can go to the site. We have a glue guide, and it helps you pick the right glues because that's a huge thing. If you don't just because you grab a glue that you know someone else said was great for something something, you know, read the instructions and see what it's recommended for. Um, we're all about press, uh, pressing those guidelines and saying, oh, well, this glue works great for this, too. So we can recommend that, but it does take practice, well, you know. But we work with hundreds of glues, not just the five or six on our glue guide. But there's lots of different ways to do everything. So, all right. So now we have a little etched flower. Um, let me get this tape off here. Beautiful. Come on, you. There we go. All right, now, so the cool thing about Sharpies is that uh, you can alcohol them off. They'll come right off. Oh, speaking of alcohol, I need two blends. And I've got some alcohol wipes here. 
Awesome. Uh, Jen, I'm going to use a multiple, a uh, few sizes. I'm going to use probably four or five sizes just to keep it nice. And I like a sprinkle fill, but I'm also going to outline, outline this edge here. There you go. This is just, um, it's a probal, isopropyl alcohol, 70%. You can use 99% even, um, but I would recommend to not use acetone. I don't have acetone in here whatsoever at all because if acetone hits any kind of acrylic or plastics. Even if it's near it, it can bloom onto it and burn your stuff. So we don't allow acetone anywhere except only in the nail desk. Only in when I do nails, that's it, nowhere else. Um, and then dry this off. Awesome, Pilar. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to put this back in here with just this color. I actually want to use my lighter color first. So let me find my center again. Now, this, this color pink is very hard to see. Um, it's only going to provide me with um, like a little outline. That's all I'm looking for right now to get my, my shapes back. Just a quick little tracing of that area there. Awesome. Okay, that's all I wanted to see is this little kind of um, inside little design there. And you guys probably can't see it at all, but that's okay because it was for me anyway. All right. So for my outline, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, give it a little center part of the little flower and follow my where I sanded. And you can get a little bit on the outside if you have to, but I would recommend staying inside your sanded area because the glue needs the sanded area. And these edges, when you have a free edge and there's no other stones, uh, you know, closing everything in and creating that structure, you have a free edge, it's more um, vulnerable to dents and hits and you may lose stones on a free edge. So it's best to uh, do the whole thing, fill it all in. But that can take a lot more time, a lot more rhinestones or crystals, and a lot more budget. Use more supplies, takes more time, costs more moolah. All right, so I'm going to do this one. Maybe we'll do a little offset thickness just to be extra. Okay, we're almost done. What time is it? Good. I have my little... Um, my thermostat digital clock next to me, watching the time, watching the time. That's okay, Celeste, you can totally just um, hit the replay button. All I was showing was how I taped it and drew the pattern on. It's okay. And I am going kind of fast because I want to fit this little project in under hopefully one hour, at least the, the talking points. I mean, the rest of it, the gluing might not finish within the hour, but um, the, the discussion and the instruction part, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And the cool thing about Sharpies is if your lines aren't where you want them, it's okay. You can put them where you want them. You can erase it. We'll see, I have this little mess up here. I'm going to erase that with Sharpie or with the alcohol because Sharpies are not as permanent as you think on... Oh, someone's alarm is going. My neighborhood is freaking loud. Yes, more of the cup. Should I raise up the screen? See, I see it differently on three screens. We've got three screens going here. So I'm trying to stay within, um, and they're all on different delays, which is very trippy. It's very trippy. Okay, so let's put my um, heavy line on this side of all of them, this side, nice and easy. Hi, Danielle, good to see you. And do, 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 do. how did I mess that up? Oh, because I was supposed to put it on this side. I'm trying to stay on my mat. I hope everyone can see from different phones because on my other one, I can't see it at all. But that's the joys of working with three devices at once. Okay, so we got the dark color in. And um, 
Everything is sanded. Everything is fine. I'm going to wait to touch up that little corner in a moment. But I'm going to just throw in some, some of the pink color. And of course, of course, the marker that I grab is shite green. And the actual color is, um, come on, really? Oh, what happened to this guy? It's time to work, marker. There we go. So the color, if I was to use a lighter color, it's some, they just don't show up sometimes. So you kind of have to practice and figure out what your paints and your colors are going to do. <clears throat> and if I'd have been smart, I would have just left this. I could have done five classes for five of the different petals, but that's okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. One petal, maybe two. And then save it from here. Hopefully. I have a feeling my phone that I'm actually filming from isn't going to save my video. But hey, that's what happens. That's what happens. Um, Danielle Andrews, do you have trouble with the Sharpie coming off when you're done with the project? I did. One and clean, wash the cup, and Sharpie came off between design. Yes, because you it's it's advisable to seal the Sharpie with your glue. So in this technique, I'm going to show you how to spread your glue and kind of cover and seal that Sharpie in. Otherwise, yes, it's going to um, not hold up as well. It needs to be under the glue completely and kind of sealed in. If you put sealers on Sharpies, it usually will disappear because they're alcohol-based and um, they disappear. All right, so we've got these two petals done. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to start with my glue. Let's get the glue ready. We're going to show you how to load a syringe. Um, I do normally use the precision glue bottle, but uh, lots of people like different options, and so I like to show different ways. We have the assorted... Uh, syringes, you're going to get five, uh, three mil syringes, and then um, five pieces of three sizes. So 15 different tips are in here. And I'm looking for the 20 gauge. I want like a medium for this. And I already have my little tip out, so I'm going to pop up one of these guys. And you're so welcome, Daniel. Yes, for sure. You bet. You betcha. All right, so we got there. I'm going to put this on, just get a little twist. There's threads in the syringe. And uh, on this tip here, open this bad boy up. And what's that? Oh, I was going to just do this from here. So from this bottle, just give it a little squirt. You don't need to fill these all the way up. Most projects are not um, this big. But, um, and plus it's going to make your syringe stick way out. It's going to cause more pain in your hand trying to reach that distance. Now wipe that off, keep that nice and clean, keep that wiped off. All right, put your plunger back in. I like to fill my syringes on the horizon. I don't fill them up and down like this because the glue can shoot down and clog up your um, end that you're opening there. So fill them laying flat and then press your plunger. You can see it as it gets to the tip there and now our syringe is ready to go. Um, always have a napkin here, just in case you have um, any glue mishaps. And um, I need to get my, um, I want to do my outline first. So let me get out my sizes from my little organizational box here. Let's see, I might use a couple 20s and some itty bitty guys. So let's just get crazy. I think fours are fine. Threes? I don't want to put threes on there. Uh, Jordan, it is actually on its way, the glue. And um, so if you, I think it's available, you can purchase it, but it won't before ship. But it's coming um, quite soon. Within the next, if not by the end of this week, by next week. It is very close. So I'm only going to put like a sprinkle of stones on my mat for this little project because we're only gonna do the two petals. Two petals, and look, I make some, oh my, what's gonna happen? Oh my, it's okay guys, it's gonna be okay. I might need more 12s because that edge is kind of small. Don't be scared, don't be scared to mix your stones. Okay. 
because it's easier for me right now to just mix them and I'm gonna have a mixed pile anyway. And we definitely have the little triangles. You can put your stones in triangles, um, but that would make my workspace way bigger and then you couldn't see very well. So sometimes just kind of putting it all on your palette to get started is awesome. Okay, so if I keep my cup in this position, can you guys see? Can everybody see? And I see on my device I'm filming from, I can, it's cut off completely. But on the other one, it's perfectly centered. Shall I move? Give me some feedback. Can you see? Everybody see the two petals? It's more towards the inside. So I don't want to get started if you guys can't see. Awesome. Jordan can see. Good. Okay. Well, I'll keep picking up, and if someone can't, I will adjust myself. Awesome. So, with your syringe, I like to hold my syringe in my fist. I'm going to move down here since that's where everybody can see. In your fist. If you hold it like a medical professional, you're going to get too much glue. There's zero control. Hold it like a fist. Put your finger on the plunger of the syringe. So you have three on the barrel, one on the plunger, and your thumb. And your thumb and your index finger are your control. That's how you know how much glue. Then you can push back and flick it with your thumb and push back on that syringe to get the glue to stop coming out, which this glue doesn't is not under pressure. There's no air bubbles trying to make it burp. Um, and if your glue keeps coming out of your syringe, it's because there's an air bubble in it. And you can just find somewhere to put it in like a shot glass and keep it straight up and down and the air bubble will find its way to the top and pop. So that way it stops burping. Okay, so with your syringe, always go onto your napkin to kind of test out to see how much glue. You barely have to press at all with this size 20 gauge syringe tip. I probably could have went to a 25 gauge, but since I've already um, put my tip in there. And now I see I want a 30 because of my center stone. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I like to use the big one. One big one. All right, let's get these all back in here. And we'll start there. We're going to put a little dot of blue. And I normally do lots at one time. I'm doing one just to show. Um, and with this tool, you touch the stone and you bring it to the glue, and it's going to come right off because the glue is always more sticky than the tip of this tool. Maybe I should raise this up. Just one moment, please. Okay, maybe not. There it went. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. How's that? Does that look better? A little better. Maybe. Oh, thank you for the hair. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so maybe that's a little better. Hopefully. Let's see if it catches back up and I can see um, everything there. Okay. Uh, Renee, I'm using a Fusion Tag from uh, our friends over at Super Tight. We have it on the site. It's, uh, it's kind of sold out right now, but we'll have more by next week. But we have it in the small tubes. Um, so you can easily get that small tube is fine. So with your uh, gluing syringe, let's see, I need to stay right here. That way everybody can see. And I'm going to put a nice little line of the glue. And I'm holding it with my finger. My index finger and my thumb is the control. These two right here, that's the control. It's very important to have control of your glue. And I'm barely pressing. You can practice to see how much glue you guys need to put on and how fast it can dry in your house or in your um, work area. Um, Angel, this is called a Crystal Katana tool. It's also found at crystalninja.com. Use code TumblrHacks101 for a 10% discount. Uh, and so now I'm going to add, oh, sometimes they do play off, but that's a good spot. Keep it right there. Um, I'm going to start from the center of this little flower with my larger stones because that's how thick my line was, my 20s. 
and then I'm going to start creating the petal. And it looks like a size 16 will fit just fine. And I'm kind of um, fading out the size of my stone to match the line. And I see I do want this one off. I don't like that one there. Let me put it over here. Sometimes that works. Move that over. Uh, yes, Brittany, the white line is my glue. That is all the glue for right now. So now I'm going to get smaller with the stones. I'm using 12 now, and I'll grab an 8, a couple of 8s, and then we're going to make a point with, how about this little size 4? Nice, sharp line there. And then on this other side, uh, Brittany, I don't mind you asking at all. It is Fusion Tac uh, from Super Tech. It's a very good multi-purpose glue. And let's see, here's my sixes. So we're going to go thinner on this line just because that's kind of how I, I drew it. And you want to stay within your lines. You want to stay within the thickness of your lines because that can make the whole design look uh, way different. It can make it look more attractive. It can make it look less attractive. So pay attention to how thick your lines are. Libby, isn't that fun? I've got, I've invited myself in. I have two Facebook accounts or our, our company. We have, uh, my name is, is Kelly DeVries and my company is Crystal Ninja. Uh, but we also use a, a work account, Susie Crystallize. So I've invited my friend named Susie in and I have both cameras with each person. So I've, that's how I got the two, two angles. Isn't that fun? You guys try it, but you have to have a microphone hidden and buried somewhere or else the sound, it, it competes and it's just, it's a nightmare. So it's not as easy as I'm making it look because um, it took some doing last night for sure. But hey, anything worth doing is worth practicing and hopefully doing it. I wouldn't say this is right. This is not the right way to do it. It's just the way I ended up doing it. So this color, you guys, is so pretty because it goes from green to pink. That's so nice. And I'm going to put a 12 here because the, the outline of the other flower is going to want some space. So there we go. And then this is my little petal. I'm going to try to get it close to the screen. That way you guys can see the detail. I'll be using, and that's one, two, three, four, five different sizes on just the outline. So, yes, Brittany, the glue will dry clear. So that's how the outline is going to look nice and tight and detail, detail, detail. So I'm going to go, yes, Aisha, it is the green flame. It is my favorite. I think so. I think it really is. Okay, so I'm going to real quickly do the other outline. Just very gentle with the glue. A little bit more here. That one didn't quite give me enough. Uh, Coralie, um, yes, I will save it. Um, so you can watch the replay for sure. Yeah, it, it doesn't have a problem saving it in the group. It has a problem saving it on my device so that I can edit it and uh, repost it on YouTube. So that kind of irritates me, but it is what it is. I need to get my real real camera gear up and kicking. So, oh, and I did forget to wipe that little piece there, but we can wipe it afterwards. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Jordan, what is the best glue for stainless steel that doesn't leave a terrible smell? Uh, what kind of glue are you using? Smelly glues are not, not that great. Uh, Jazzy, this is just picking up the stones. I already have the glue on, and I put my glue in the syringe, and that's how I got the glue on to the design. The white is what you see, and that is the Fusion Pack uh, glue on the edge here. So I think we're going to hit right at... We'll be fine. A little bit, a little bit over one hour. I'm okay with. It's okay. But I wanted to make sure that I got enough done where you can all see. Liquid fusion and it stinks bad. 
Um, I'm still testing with that glue. It's not one of mine uh, preferred because I'm still testing it. Um, but yeah, that's interesting that it would leave a stink. Maybe it's reacting to something else. But um, I wish I had an answer for you. But I don't at this moment. All right, now when your glue starts to get clear, it means it is drying. You need it to be uh, still white for it to be um, good glue. If it's already clear and drying, it's not going to stick all the way. So, yeah. Good stuff, you guys. I hope you're enjoying this. I never know kind of the different levels of skill to show, um, but this one is a good one, and it's a good one to have. And we actually do use this quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, the green flame is looking bomb. I'm loving it. Freaking loving it. Loving it. Um, uh, Danielle, would you do the name a name the same way? Outline it first and fill it in. Do you happen to have tutorial on how you put names on numbers? Um, it would. You can use the same way. You can use your vinyl cutters, your crickets, all your stuff like that. Um, but I would recommend you to sand the vinyl first, then cut it on your machine, and then apply it. But yes, uh, using the outlines will help your design look more finished and um, more interesting and sharper looking. So, because the outlines define um, a lot of the design. And you don't have to outline, but if you're just using a, even a one color name, um, can really help your design look fabulous. Okay, so there's our outline there. Oh, I wanted to put, so see how, I hope you can see. Here is where I wanted to kind of merge those stones, kind of blend them in. And so I'm going to put another little dot of glue right there, any big dot. And I think size 12. Nope, let's do eight. Perfect. Because from a distance, you don't want to see any kind of like weird, uh, you know, gaps or not not gap but like the dent in your design you want nice flowy movement with your designs okay so we're done right now with the green flame and i'm gonna get these off of my desk and put them in another little container right quick and then we're going to use the mocha light purple awesome now i have a nice little mix i love the mix Yes, for sure. The green flame. Awesome. Oh, very good. Yeah, for sure. Oh, let's see. Um, Debbie says, I've noticed the glue on the stainless koozie I've been working on stays sticky. I bought a pre-filled bottle of glue on you. It stays sticky. That's interesting. Um, stays sticky. I've heard that before. It could be too much glue. Maybe use less, and that way it's not going to ooze out as much. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. Um, but it should, you can sometimes put glitter or mica powder of a similar color over that. It will stop being sticky. We use that technique for lots of different um, uh, glues that kind of stay, stay tacky like that. But this one, it shouldn't be doing that. So, um, yeah. Jennifer, no ma'am, no epoxy. This is just on a 20 ounce tumbler um, that we have on the site with new pricing. And uh, I sanded it. I masked everything off and sanded it. So, um, yeah. Oh, may want to adjust your shirt top camera just a tad. Oh, up or down? Up or down? Up or down? I don't know. Up, down? Yeah, I have it on three different views, and I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. <laughs> Oh, shift. Which way? Tell me which way. I'm going to get this ready. Yeah, which camera? I got two cameras going. Which one? All right, so we're going to put some 16s down here. And I'm just going to do a sprinkle fill uh, with this color. And it is the mocha. It's in the pre-sale section. And... Um, Yes, definitely sand. I sanded the flower. I didn't sand the whole cup. I showed how I masked everything off 
and I uh, did that top down on the first one. Oh. See, it's looking all new ways on all my phones. Maybe. Let's hope that worked. Can you guys see the work mat in the shot? I try to stay on my work mat as my aim. But now that one. Uh, Brittany, we have them at crystalengine.com, and they are actually buy one, get one free, so hit the BOGO section. Hit the BOGO section, and that will show you everything. All right, so I'm going to just put a little drizzle of size 8s on here. Now, these mocha colors, also good. Now, you can see, very good. Um, only go as small as 6 without having to do a um, special order. So if we have lots of interest in something smaller than a 6, then it's, you know, it's not a huge order. I mean, it's 500 packs, which we do a lot of anyway, but, um, you know, i got to make sure. And I like to make some. This is my uh, sprinkle fill technique. And uh, same thing. So now we're going to do the petal. And we're almost done. Easy peasy. We are almost done. And um, awesome. Yeah, for sure, you guys. Let's see. So I can, you can still do your lines, but what I really want to do is kind of get the glue on here. And then I'm going to, you can use little paint brushes. You can use, um, I like to use my finger. I like to finger paint. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap to get this glue to spread out and be nice and even. Don't get it on the other stones. It takes practice. If you get it on the other stones, wait um, till it's dry to try to clean that. So I'll bring it straight up to the middle of the camera. So you can see that I've finger painted. The white is the glue. There you go. And... Now, with my mix, I just kind of start from um, this, wh wherever the stones are flipped up and ready, that's the stones you want to grab. If you sit there and chase the stones that are upside down, you're wasting your time because they're not ready to work for you, so they don't get to go to work. So just kind of grab the ones that are flipped over and ready. When you're ready to flip some, just rake your finger through the mat. Using a neoprene mat really helps um, this process. And we have those on the BOGO as well. There we go. And this part can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can, um, you know, use all tiny stones. You can use all big stones. You can put fillers in. You cannot put fillers in. This is the part that just takes practice and it will um, give or take, you know, take some time. But it's all going to be worth it in the end. Uh, Latanya, this is our work mat on the site. It's just neoprene. And there we go. I like to get them in there as tight as possible, but it's okay to have some kind of gap, but just try to make the gaps nice and even. That way it, you don't have uh, like really sticking out different kind of gaps, I guess. You know, you know. Oops, and he doesn't have my glasses on. And use your opposite side to, to position them down, to press them around, because using your um, black pickup side is going to, you're going to end up getting glue on it. It's going to stop working. That's the only reason why these tools stop, tools stop working is because there's glue or debris on it. It's, yes, uh, this will be on the replay. Yeah, for sure. I hope I can actually save it so I can repost it. Um, elsewhere as well, and then more people can get that Tumblr Hacks coupon code. Okay, almost done with this little petal. And then we're going to call it good because I'm right at one hour and I don't want to upset these devices. Use your opposite side to move things around as you need it. Uh, Tabitha, I have the glue in a gluing syringe, and it's in the assorted uh, package, assorted syringes and tips, and those are buy one, get one free as well on the BOGO section of the site. There's a whole category that's called BOGO, and the cups were BOGO all weekend. That was an awesome introduction to our new pricing system. We have a, a nice new lower price for the cups. Okay, I don't want to put too many big ones. And I think we are 
One, two, three, done. Done for now. Move these around, get them adjusted the way you want them. And there you have it. There you go. Now the glue is going to dry clear. So you won't see any of that whiteness once it's dry. Uh, Trisha, no, you do not need to seal any of this. It will hold. Um, I have a video, if you search my name in this group, um, and you'll see me washing the tumblers in a sink, being very vigorous. So it's okay. Uh, when your prep is done right, when you sand it and cleaned and done all those layers, it's going to stick very well. And you can totally wash them. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And Jennifer says, if you epoxy a steel tumbler first, uh, should you sand it before? Yes, of course. We always show sanding, and um, I've got plenty of other demos in this group, so search my name in this group, and you'll see different processes. I show lots of ways to do it, so yeah. All right, you guys, we are at one hour, and um, I'm going to continue working on this in a couple other groups, and uh, then I will follow up with a, a finished photo. So I'm going to turn off my... Uh, my guest, my bottom section here, this camera called Susie Crystallized. And then I'm going to show you the whole. I didn't take the microphone out. I have this microphone hidden. Um, so I was answering someone about the marker. I just have the normal uh, purple marker. That's um, how about now? <laughs> That was my little hack, having two phones in the same room. I have a microphone buried across the room in a in another tumbler. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I just use this dark, uh, normal, Sharpie purple. Yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. Yeah. And, Joanne, we are about to offer the factory packs of Swarovski. Yes, ma'am. You'll see them listed. The 2088s we're building. The 2058s are coming soon. Um so we're working really hard to get that on there, but we have plenty in the Kira Kira glass rhinestones. Um, but like I said earlier, changing the color of your background paint will change the look and effect of your uh, stones. It might be slight, might be a little bit different. Um, so let's say if you use something white and you put these heaven light on it, it's a nice compliment. Um, and then if you use the dark purple ghost, it's going to look even different because of the white background. Now, if you were to put something black, it's going to change the tone of how these look. This now looks more saturated and more, I guess, attractive. This one is standing out. You'll be able to see all of your gaps, and sometimes that's okay, too. Um, so changing the background color of your design can really change the tone of everything. So we have these little one-by-one -one clear acrylics uh, to make your little uh, color chips from with all your stones, and then you can, of course, uh, tie them all together and have, like, a nice little little um, color chip to try to test and look at things like that. So, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, weird. Uh, Tabitha, I used lots of sizes. I used uh, a 30 for the center and then 20, 16, 12, 8, 6, uh, and 4s on the green flame. And then in the, in the mocha light purple, uh, it only goes down to 6. So, yeah. All right, you guys, we are at one hour. And I thank you guys for your time. And again, the site is crystalninja.com and use Tumblr Hacks 101 for your 10% uh, discount site-wide. Um, yeah, awesome. This was fun. I did it, and I did it in one hour. Fantastic. I get two thumbs up. Yay. All right, guys, I got to go. Thank you all so much. Now let me see if I can save this and not screw it up. Let's just see here. Okay, let's see. I need to hit the finish button.